You know, one of my favorite movies this year was actually James Gunn's Suicide Squad. It is one of my favorite movies of the year and one of the biggest box office bombs of the year. So it sad. was so... It did not get what it deserved. Of course, one of the main culprits is, of course, the fact that HBO, it was aired on HBO Max the same day it was released in theaters. That certainly didn't help it. But it was also rated R, and the trailers was clearly not, it wasn't going to be a movie that's for everybody. I love the movie. I thought it was absolutely fantastic, and I thought it was quintessential James Gunn. One of the pleasant surprises for me out of that movie was John Cena's Peacemaker. <laughs> Now, I didn't know what to think of him from the trailers and all that kind of stuff, but I'll tell you what. He actually showed me, I think, the best acting performance John Cena's ever done because the parts that I liked Peacemaker the most wasn't even his incredible action and some pretty great one-liners. It was closer to the end of the film without giving anything away. It was closer to the end of the film when he's actually struggling and he's getting kind of emotional. Like, even when he's talking to Rick Flagg, he's like, man, don't don't make me do this. Like, it's just there was something in that performance that he was showing us, John Cena was showing us stuff that I don't think he was capable of giving us before. And so, because of that, I have been quite interested in this Peacemaker TV series they've got coming out. That's going to be on HBO. The first trailer came out, I thought it was pretty clever. It was cute. There's a new trailer... And I don't like it. You don't. I, I, I don't like the new trailer. Oh. They're, they're, and I, it's hard for me to put my finger on why. Now, look, I'm still looking forward to this show. Don't misinterpret me. I am still looking forward to seeing Peacemaker. But I don't expect Peacemaker to have a $300 million budget. But it felt cheap. I, I don't know. The, the, the trailer itself felt very low budget. Dare I say... It almost felt like a film school project. Oh, it, it just it just kind of felt that. Now, again, I am very much looking forward to the show. I like the first trailer. Yikes. I really like this character, especially coming out of Suicide Squad. But I wasn't feeling this trailer. Per, just being honest, just being honest. Hey, hey, as man. much as I love James Gunn and I'm sure the show's going to be great. That's but how you feel. The trailer is different and I, I just wasn't feeling the trailer. You just saw the trailer for the first time this morning as did the rest of us. Yeah. What do you think about it? I thought it was funny. I thought it was really funny. I like Daniel Brooks in there. I think she's hilarious. Um, it's funny because the way the cinematography reminded me of Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> don't ask me why but there's a scene where he's like talking to his dad in the kitchen and i'm like why does this remind me of malcolm in the middle <laughs> um and so i don't know it's it's i didn't think it looked uh student filmy but i did feel like it was like network tv not so much like cinematic level you could see this in the theaters like pretty much everything else on hbo Everything right. else on HBO has a great quality to it. So there was this network sitcom feel, not to the content, but the look. So I kind of feel you there. But I, I, I thought it looked funny. I thought it looked interesting. I didn't think it was like student, like film level. I didn't. Uh, that's I, I, that's, I did. That's yeah, really I, how you felt. Oh man. So again, again, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I like the first one. I am. Look, I will always give James Gunn the benefit of the doubt. And remember, this is the trailer. James Gunn didn't make the trailer, so I'm I'm still excited for the show. I'm just saying, just being honest that hey, the trailer this hey. one didn't work for me. Anyway, question is for you guys. Did you have a chance to see the new Peacemaker trailer? Maybe you loved it. Maybe you thought it was okay. Maybe you didn't like it so much. Whatever you guys are feeling about it, jump down into the comments section below and leave us your thoughts.